Hi and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the 503 service unavailable error in WordPress. Make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss an important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So the process or the fix that I am going to show you is to temporarily deactivate your plugins. So one of the most common causes of the 503 error in WordPress is plugin compatibility issues. So to determine if that's what's happening, you'll need to disable all of your science plugin. So since the 503 error prevents you from accessing the admin area, you'll need to use the FTP client for this step. So if you don't have one, set up recommend the filezilla so once your ftp client is ready just connect to your website through it and navigate to your root folder so in case you can find it it is usually called the public underscore html ship or public or ww or your size name so if you are kinsta client it is your public folder and then open that folder and then navigate to the wp content directory so inside your find a folder called plugins which contains individual subject or subdirectories for each of the plugins installed on your site so this is for both active and inactive so what you're going to do now is to right click onto the plugins folder and rename it to something else so we recommend plugins that old or plugins that deactivated so you can easily recognize it later and after that WordPress will now or will now not be able to find any of your plugins. So when that happens, it will automatically disable those plugins. So now try accessing your dashboard. So if the 503 error is gone, then you can assume that one of your plugins was the culprit. So all you have to do is figure out which one was at fault. So return to the WP content directory and rename your original plugins folder correctly. And then you'll need to disable each of your plugins one by one until you find the culprit and to do this just open the wp content or the plugins directory so inside you'll find one folder for each of your plugins that process is going to or your, the process you're going to follow is much the same as before so just start with the first folder and rename it to anything you like check your website to see if the error is gone and if it isn't return to the plugin folder from the previous step to its original name and then move on to the next plugin on your list and just repeat the above steps so this process can take a while if you have a lot of plugins but it is vital to check plugin in return so if at any point you identify that plugin that's causing the error you can uninstall it or replace it with another Tool. and so that's it for this video um, that is our th these are some fixes or steps that you need to do to possibly fix the 503 error so i hope this helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit notification bell buttons so you don't miss a video thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye, -bye.